Hey, bro, hey, my brother. Why you got that? Why you got that wig on like that, bro? Why you got that wig on, bro? You are not a woman, bro. You are not a woman. It's time for our people to repent, man. All women out here dressed like trans last night. You men out here dressed like a woman. Right. Time for our people to repent. Right. We on the front line. Girl, up for the battle, yeah, it's brunch time. Don't you get caught looking back, don't try to run now. Are you gonna make it to the end or you gonna tap out? Cause we ain't guards on me on the front line. Girl, up for the battle, yeah, it's brunch time. Don't you get caught looking back, don't try to run now. Are you gonna make it to the end or you gonna tap out? Cause we ain't guards on me. I'm locked like a red nose pig. On the ass, tight up with some vice grip. up until viral infection. For uh -huh. even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. You see that? The natural use of a woman is to bear children. Right. A natural use of a woman is to get married and bear children. Right. Not, not to be a stud. Right. Hey, bro, hey, my brother. Why you got that why you got that wig on like that, bro? Why you got that wig on, bro? You are not a woman, bro. You are not a woman. It's time for our people to repent, man. All women out here dressed like trans last night. You men out here dressed like a woman. Right. Time for our people to repent. Right. Now, brother, need to take that wig off his head and be a man. Right. God said, stand up manfully. Right. We need our men to take back the community. Right. How y'all doing? Y'all love God? Time for our people to come back to the Lord. People out here, you got you got women out here that studs. That 14, the girl didn't look like she was no more than 15. Right. She confused, because right. it's a problem in the community. Give me that right. Hosea. Give me Hosea right. chapter 4 and verse 1. Right. It ain't no truth in the land. That's why that little girl 15 thinks she a stud. Right. That's why you old men got a damn wig on their head. Right. You got a pro it's a problem in the community. Right. I want Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. You got what I want? Yes, Read that. It's the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Right. Hear the word of the Lord. Ye children of Israel. A lot of people don't want to hear the word of the Lord. Y'all walking up and down at the, at the what, what is this? This is a TSU classic. Yes, the TSU homecoming. Yes, You're walking up and down at the TSU homecoming, but you don't want to hear the, the words of the Lord. Yes, Read it again. Hear the word of the Lord, uh -huh. ye children of Israel. You know. For the Lord had the controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God got a problem with the inhabitants of the land. God got a problem with you buying and selling on the Lord's seventh day. God got a problem with you out here hoeing around on the Lord's seventh day. God got a problem with a woman that dressed like a man. God got a problem with that. God got a problem with a woman that dressed like a man. A woman should dress modest and a long dress with fringes on, with, the, with a head covering on. Right. But most of our women out here dress like hoes. Right. Right. God got a problem with that, right. you know? Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. God said ain't no truth in the land. I'm gonna give you some truth. Give me uh, Sirach 26. I want Sirach 26, 22. God got a problem. I'm gonna give you some real truth right now. This is the truth right here according to the Bible. God got a problem with you old women that dress like hoes. Yes, he does. He got a problem with you. Watch this, read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 22. A harlot shall be accounted as spittle. God said if you're a hoe, you should be counted as spittle. You know what a spittle is? That's what God say. God said a woman need to be married. How many of you sisters out here married? Our women ain't married. Right, right. 
God say when you go to college, you shouldn't be no home. You should be getting married. That's the difference between the black woman and the white woman. The white woman in college is fine her husband. The black woman in college is not fine to her husband. She's been a home. <laughs> it is what it is. The black woman in college got like 40 bodies. But when she when she go to college, she got two bodies, which is evil. When she leave college, she got 50 damn bodies on her. How y'all doing, bro? How you doing, bro? You love the Lord? You, you love the Lord? How you do that? How you love the Lord, bro? How you do that? Do you, can, you get a, can you get a Lord a hug? How you do that, bro? Come on, Pops. How you love the Lord? How you doing, bro? How you doing, my brother? You an Oklahoma fan? Okay. You know, uh, you love the Lord? You go to church? You love God? How do you do that? How you show God you love him? Give me 1 John 5, 3. How you do that? Worship. But what does the Bible say? Okay, you worship God, right? Which God do you worship? The one, let me show you a picture of him. Is this the one right here? That's him. That's the God you worship him? Yeah. So that's your God right there, right? Now you know not, not this is you, you, who is this right here? It's a procession that like God is white, but we know that God is not. But I'm just saying, who is this right here? That's a person Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So when you close your eyes and pray, do you see this image right here? So who is that? Who is? Why they give us that image? How does Christ look in the Bible? What, what, is, what, is, what does the Bible say? How does Christ look? He, he don't know? You say you go to church, though. You, you need to be consistent. No, you don't need to go no more because they lied to you in church. Watch this. Give me Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Oh, no, no. I want to show you how you love the Lord. Go back. Go back. I'm sorry. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Watch this, Watch this bro. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. So the Bible is going to tell us how to love God. Okay, read. That we keep his commandments. So how do you love God? By what? Keep his commandments. Do you keep the commandments of God? What's one commandment? Uh, don't lie, don't steal. Okay, so you don't lie, don't steal. I'm going to give you another real easy commandment to do. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. This is real, this, this real easy right here. You can do this commandment right here. Let me ask you, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna ask you this and see, I'm gonna read this and see if you're doing that commandment. Okay, watch this, read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hook. What's a swine? A what? A bird? <laughs> a swine. You know what a swine is? You got a phone? All right, Google swine. Google swine for me right quick. He said a swine is a bird. I'm not a swan now. A swine. Swine. W. Uh, S W I N E. S W I N E. And hit images for me. Hit images. So what is a swine? Okay, read it again. And the swine, though he divide the hook and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. God told the Israelites that a swan was unclean to them. Read on. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. You keep that commandment. He said, of their flesh shall ye not eat. So what's up? You eat pork? Okay, so you don't keep the commandments of God, right? So how do you love God again? By keeping his what, what What's one of the commandments I just read you? You don't know, eat pork. So if you love God, what you'll do? You'll stop eating pork. Now, what's, what's some examples of pig flesh? Pork chop, pork chop, bacon. So should you eat bacon? You just, I just read you the commandments. No, right? Should you eat pork chop? You should, you, now, you live at home with your mama? So if your mama cooking pork chop, what you going to tell her? Mom, that's against God. I can't eat that. When you read Leviticus 11 and 7, I can't eat that, Mom. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to tell her that, right? All right, now, so now, how does Jesus Christ look in the Bible? The Bible explains to him. Give me, give me Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Now, read verse 1 and 1 first, read. 
This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation means the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read on. Stop down to verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ, the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white in, in color and woolly in texture. Now let me ask you something. Who on earth got woolly hair? Now take your hat off, feel your head. How does that feel? That feel like wool, right? That feel like wool, right? So so how is, so when you see this, you should have a problem with that. Because his hair ain't woolly. It's more stringy and yellow like. Right? So why why do they lie to us like that? To gain control over them. What, what, do, what don't they want you to know? Christ looks just like you. So if, if Christ is black, how does his people look? His people look black. So what's your true nationality? Don't tell me you're a black man now. Well, I want I want a nationality. What's your nationality? What's your African American is not a nationality. Like, okay, I'm gonna give you an example of nationality. Chinese. Chinese man, that he's from China, right? Uh Japanese from Japan, right? So you American, right? You you say you're American. But why do they call you an African American? You know Amer America is named after a white man. America best speechy. So you are saying you a white man when you say you're an American, right? Right? So why, now what you just said is prophecy in the Bible. I'm going to show you. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. God said that that was going to happen to us, that we weren't going to know our true nationality. Why did it happen to us like that, though? Because Japanese folk, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the Chinese people have been Wong Li for thousands of years, right? They ain't been Wong Li for thousands of years. Now, what's your last name? Frost. Now you know that's a white man last name, right? Cause you, when did, how did you get your last name? From where he get it from? His father, and he got it. His father got it from his father, and where his father get it from? The white man who enslaved him. Okay. So guess what? That's a curse on our people right there. And God allowed that to happen to us for a reason. Why did He allow it to happen to us? You don't know. That's why we stopped you today. Because you need to know, right? You need to know that. What I ask you for? Yeah, watch this, read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Yeah. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. We discontinue from our heritage. Now, now we say our heritage is Christmas, right. New Year. Right. That's not our heritage. Right. Our heritage is the commandments of God. Right. Okay? So that's our heritage. So give me Deuteronomy 11, 26. So the reason why all of this stuff, your name was changed, your forefathers went into slavery, is because God had a problem with us. Now these are the people of God right here. Look at this right here. Now where you see yourself at? The very top. You So you from the tribe, you American black. You from the tribe of Judah. Y'all ever heard of that? Y'all ever heard of the tribe of Judah? God got a chosen people in the Bible, and these are the biblical names, and on the other side is over there what the white man called you. Now listen what God told these people. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. What's a blessing? Something what? If somebody bless you, what is that, bro? What's your name, bro? Jeremy? Jair. So what's a blessing? How you doing, mama? Hey, mama, you, you call no way. I was trying to teach you the Bible, mama. Our people don't like to listen, bro. Hey, so what's a blessing, Jeremy? Jair. I'm sorry, Jair. What's a blessing? Something good, right? That's a blessing. He said, so Moses is telling the Israelites, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. What's a curse? Something bad. Read it again. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. So what you got to do to get the blessing? Obey the commandments of God that you're not doing, right? So these people were told by God 
if they obey the commandments, they'll be blessed. Read on. Which I command you this day, and a curse if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. See that? So these people, this is the contract God made with these people here. You had to obey the commandments of God or you will be cursed. Okay? So now, why did we go into slavery? Because we what? We cursed because God told us if we didn't obey, it was going to happen to us. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. Now look at this right here, bro. What is that right there? Slave ships. Did that, who did that happen to? That happened to us. Why did it happen to us? Bring it out. Watch this. I'm finna show you. Read Deuteronomy 28, 68. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, Egypt is synonymous for slavery. The word Egypt means slavery. God said, I'm gonna bring you into slavery again if you don't keep my commandments. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. So we went into slavery on cargo slave ships. Read on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Just like Moses told us it was going to happen, that's what happened to us. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. God said, because... And when we got off those slave ships, we were going to be sold to our enemies. Right. Now, what are some of the signs that we were being sold? Oh, so watch that sign right there. Is it a, is the sale sign up under there? Pick that up for me. What about? At the bottom? Okay, yeah, right here, right here. Show me this right here. Now, look at this right here. Now, this is the Native Americans right here. They were sold as well. What are they doing right here? Yes, right here. What are they doing right now? Yeah, we're the ox. That, that happened to us. God said we were going to come in on cargo slave ships because of our disobedience to his right, commandments, right. right? And then we were going to be sold. Did that not happen? That was Bible prophet. This was, happen, this was written thousands of years before it happened to us. Right. So why did God allow that to happen to us? Because we won't keep his commandments, right? right. So why is the black man and the black woman in a decayed state today? Right because of the generational curses, because they will not repent. Wow. So what does God want us to do? Give me, give me Isaiah 59 and 1. What does God want us to do? What does God want us to do, bro? Jair, what does God want us to do? We want us to repent That's and keep the commandment. Right. Do you want us to be church dudes? You know these church dudes that you see in the choir? All homosexual and stuff? God don't want us to be like that. He want us to be men. Rule our household. You understand? Now, you about that at age when you start looking for a wife. Now, how are you, bro? You're 18, right? So you know you start to notice women, right? Now, you know what God say about oh, being with a woman? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. What I ask you for? Okay, yeah, I'm going to show you that. All right, read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. That it cannot save. So the Lord could save us if he won't. He can save us out of the ghettos, right. out of the slums. Right. So we the, we the, we the last high, first five. Right. We're at the bottom of every statistic, right? right. 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 But the Lord can change that if he won't, right? right. Read on. Neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Read. But your iniquity. Your iniquity means your sins. Right. Meaning your breaking of God's laws, right? right? have separated between you and your God. See that God don't deal with us no more because he's separated from us because of our sin. Right. So now, I'm finna show you something. You got a girlfriend? Not yet, you trying to get one? You hollering at somebody now? Okay, give me Hebrews 13 and 4. What, what does God say? What does God say about girlfriend, boyfriend? God don't deal with that, bro. I'm finna show you this, watch this, read. It's the book of Hebrews. Chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. God deal with marriage. Right. So at your age, you're not a man yet. You're a man when you get 20, according to the Bible. Okay. Right. But now you need to start keeping the commandments of God. Right. And then when you get 20, you get your household in order. Right. And then you can get your wife. Right. You feel me? And then you got to teach her the commandments of God. Right. And you got to teach your kids. Right. All right. You going to college or something? You call, what college you in? You going to Fisk? 
Okay, okay. So now it's a lot of wickedness going on on college campuses, right? A lot of fornication, right? Now you know that's against God. You didn't know fornication was against God? You know what fornication is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, God will judge you for that, right? You know that? Hey, give me that, find me that scripture in Thessalonians about the fornication. I think it's, uh, first learn, what is it? 413? All right, read that. I want, I want you to hear this, bro. Now, it, on college campuses, the big thing is fornication. Right. Okay, it's running rapid. You might see a brother and sister in the laundry room. Brother in the dorm room. Doing their thing, right? I'm, I'm sure you see it. But we, why would we go into slavery? For, for breaking God's laws, right? Yes. So we got to keep God's laws. Watch this, read. It's the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 3. Yes. For this is the will of God. Now, this is the will of God. What is the will of God? This is something God wants you to do. It's yes. a commandment. Read them. Even your sanctification, uh -huh. that ye should abstain from fornication. God wants us to abstain from fornication. Right. So what you gonna do if a, uh, if a woman try to holler at you? You gonna, you gonna abstain from that, right? Wow. All right now, Jair, we don't wanna hear about you now. Right. We don't wanna hear about you. Because what what happens? How does God punish folks for uh, fornication? How does he punish you for fornication? You ever heard of chlamydia? You heard of chlamydia, right? right? That's how God punishes you for fornication. Right. You ever heard of gonorrhea? Right. You heard of HIV AIDS? Right. You heard of hepatitis? Right. Right. Hepatitis right. mess up your whole damn liver. Right. It'll kill you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you chlamydia, you burn it. Right. Gonorrhea, you burn it. But if you can, if you break God's marriage law, God will hit you with that judgment right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people think they're getting away with it, but they're not. Because God hit them with the, with the herpes, the right. genital warts, right. all that right there. A lot of people got, a lot of women out here today got genital warts. Right. Because they're breaking God's marriage law. Right. A lot of you women out here, men got herpes for breaking God's marriage law. I'm telling you, give me Deuteronomy 28 and I want 61. All this herpes, gonorrhea, all that is a judgment of God. Right. Some of y'all right now, Clenching yourself because you know you got herpes. Right. Some of y'all looking, know you need some medicine right now. Because you're breaking God's marriage law. Right. Watch this, I want 58, then skip to 61. Read. Bring it out. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 58. Read it out. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law, see that God wanted us to do the words of his law. Verse 61, read. Verse 61, also, every sickness, see that? God said, if you don't do the words of this law, it's going to be sickness. Right. Read them. And every plague, HIV is a plague. Right. Gonorrhea is a plague. Right. Chlamydia is a plague. Right. All that happened to our people right. for breaking God's law. Right. You feel me? What's the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time. Oh, no!